Hi, I'm Dr. Colin Buchanan at Coeur d'Alene Spine and Brain. I want to talk today about osteoporosis and poor bone quality, specifically as it relates to patients who are undergoing spinal surgery for fusion procedures or procedures that require instrumentation or implantation of screws and rods. One of the issues we face uh, with patients who have poor bone quality is that screws that are implanted or cages that are implanted don't hold in that bone as well. And those tend to lead to higher rates of revision surgery as well as uh, poorer outcomes for those patients. So there are a couple ways we can deal with poor bone quality at the time of surgery in patients who have osteoporosis and who require implantation of spinal instrumentation. One of the ways is to simply add more screws so that the number of points of fixation is increased. Another way is to inject bone cement into the bones where the screws are being placed. And typically we do this at the uppermost level of the construct, as well as one level above that uppermost level. So there are some other options to deal with osteoporosis and spinal surgery with instrumentation. One of those options is to place patients on a medication before surgery. This medication is called Forteo or uh, teriparatide is the generic name. Uh, this medication needs to be administered three months before surgery uh, and the goal is to build up the geometric architecture of the bone so that the bone is physically stronger and better able to hold screws or instrumentation. Uh, there have been several studies that show this is quite effective in improving both the strength of the screws and rods going into the bone as well as the fusion rates for spine surgery. A couple of other options for dealing with poor bone quality after surgery include external bone growth stimulators and external immobilization braces. The external bone growth stimulators encourage the bone fusion process and can be helpful in patients who have poor bone quality to really get a solid fusion. The external braces simply help to add extra stability to the uh, surgery that was done and both of these, the external bone growth stimulator and bracing can be provided here from the office. In summary, we talked about poor bone quality and strategies to manage this following spinal surgery. I'm Dr. Colin Buchanan. Thank you for watching.